Well, on to the latest for the coronavirus pandemic. Governor Brian Kemp extending the statewide shelter in place order through the end of the month, April 30th, and the public health emergency is extended to May 13th. The orders are expected to help flatten the curve and experts say it is working, but we're still in the rising phase. So here's a look at the numbers. Georgia's coronavirus outbreak hit a grim milestone yesterday. The latest numbers showing more than 10,000 confirmed cases in our state. 370 Georgians have died. Now we're keeping an eye on several scientific models. They show Georgia cases won't hit their peak until about April 20th. That's still about two weeks away. So this is why Governor Brian Kemp wants people to stay home. We continue to remain hunkered down and prepared for any circumstance that comes our way. Governor Kemp taking drastic steps to keep you and your family safe. He is also cracking down on nursing homes where many vulnerable COVID-19 patients are dying, some by the dozens. John Shearer kicks off our team coverage. He's breaking down the governor's new aggressive measures to stop the spread. Governor Brian Kemp saying Georgians are mostly complying with the stay-at-home order and extending it to April 30th will, he says, give it a chance to work to flatten the curve. And I don't want Georgians to take their foot off the gas. There's no question what we're doing is working. But long-term care facilities, nursing homes across Georgia, reporting dozens of COVID-19 deaths so far among seniors, the most vulnerable. The governor ordering them to observe strict sanitation protocols, and he's sending in an additional 1,000 Georgia National Guard members to clean them up. The Georgia Department of Public Health Commissioner, Dr. Kathleen Toomey, says the executive order empowers health officials to enforce consistent infection controls. And so we see this as an opportunity to be proactive in this area and to ensure that no new cases have Occur. Governor Kemp trying to beef up hospital capacity to be ready for the projected peak of cases, possibly around April 20th, and trying to look ahead to an end to all of this. You know, when the end is, I think it depends on how people continue to do. Uh, if people continue to, to practice this new norm of social distancing, it'll be sooner rather than later. But not, he says, this month. Now let's go to Liza Lucas at her home studio in Fulton County. Liza, there are some mixed opinions on this shelter in place extension. What are you seeing? That's right. A lot of different perspectives are coming in that shelter in place order restricting who is allowed to work right now and who is not among other things. And again, it's extended through April 30th, but 11 alive is where Atlanta speaks. And a lot of you have been sounding off with your take on this issue. So Brandon is one of those who seems to support the governor's move, saying people need to stay home unless necessary. Others like Jackie also weighing in, believing that the list of essential businesses as defined by the state needs to be smaller. You can see her post from Facebook right there. And then there are others like Cynthia and others on our page that just want clarity because there's been a lot of dates thrown around recently. And we want to be clear that April 30th date is for Georgia's shelter in place. Meanwhile, Governor Kemp also announced he's extending the public health state of emergency until May 13th. And that change allows resources to continue to be deployed to communities as needed. So the difference right there, questions, let us know. Use that hashtag Morning Rush ATL and we will work to address those on both of these orders and just join the conversation this morning. We'll continue to follow. Christy. All right. Thanks, Liza. New this morning, Bank of America awards Grady Hospital $500,000 to support the growing numbers of patients there amid the pandemic. The grant will help the patient care and in-house testing efforts to perform as many as 350 tests a day. President and CEO of Grady Health System says they are fortunate to have such a com committed community partner. Our coronavirus coverage continues now with more on its impact across the metro on this Thursday morning. I'm Chinu Her. Many Americans are waiting for their stimulus checks, but the question is, when is that happening? Financial expert Andrew Poulos tells me that should happen in the next two weeks. He says the government is determining who gets the $1,200 based off either your 2018 or 2019 tax returns. If you need to update mailing or direct deposit info, Poulos says the IRS should have a portal up soon for you to do that. Hackers targeting hospitals during a critical period. Global authorities say attacks against hospitals from hackers are significantly increasing, and to lock down a hospital is potentially putting people in danger. Experts warn against Zoom bombing also, where hackers join in looking for information. You can protect yourself by using a password for meetings.
A billion dollar donation coming from Twitter and Square co-founder Jack Dorsey. It is the biggest contribution by a private donor to date. Dorsey announcing he'll devote the money to help fund COVID-19 relief efforts. He says that amount is about 28% of his net worth. 